Hello, I'm Karen Larson with 2 News Oklahoma. Crews began demolishing Tulsa's Gilcrease Museum starting today, clearing the way for a new $83 million state of the art facility. Once the demolition is finished and the debris is all cleared away, construction begins on the new building. The museum closed to the public last July so they could move the collection of art to a safe location. The new museum will include an improved visitor experience with state of the art exhibition space. It's expected to open in a couple of years. Covering coronavirus tonight, some mixed news as we track the spread of the Omicron variant. Oklahoma is in the top 10 right now when it comes to the most new cases per day on average. However, OU's chief COVID officer, Dr. Dale Bratzler, says there is a positive sign that we may have turned a corner. Uh, we've actually uh, seemed to have plateaued right at this moment. Uh, but we're still seventh in the nation with respect to new cases per 100,000 population per day. Applications for Restore Hope's rental assistance program are set to close this weekend. The ministry announced today that it's going to suspend new applications this Sunday. Restore Hope has doled out nearly $34 million in federal money in rent and utility assistance to people in Northeast Oklahoma during the pandemic. If you still need help, apply on erap.restorehope.com. Dot org through Sunday. Tulsa police asking for your help identifying two people in this picture. They say that two men in the sweatshirts tried to steal a man's medical marijuana as he left the dispensary. You can see the one on the left has a gun. This happened back on the 14th near 68th and South Memorial. If you recognize the suspects, call Tulsa police. We will keep updating your local news and weather here on 2 News Oklahoma.